Prince Harry succeeds in his attempt to sue a major publisher in the High Court, though part of his claim was rejected. The owners of The Sun and the now defunct News of the World have been accused of illegally gathering information about Prince Harry, according to Prince Harry. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. The High Court will hear a portion of Prince Harry's lawsuit regarding claims of illegal information gathering against a tabloid publisher. The Duke of Sussex, however, was denied the right to file a phone hacking lawsuit against news group newspapers, the company that published The Sun and the now defunct News of the World, according to Justice Timothy Fancourt's decision on Thursday. The judge also disallowed Harry's request to modify his case in order to rely on a secret agreement between Buckingham Palace and top NGN officials. Harry, 38, has filed a lawsuit for damages, claiming that he was the target of journalists and private eye agents working for NGN. NGN argued that the Duke's case was brought too late because he should have known sooner that he had a potential claim, and asked Mr Justice Fancourt to dismiss it at a hearing in April. The judge agreed with the newspaper's claim that Harry was knowledgeable enough about the phone hacking scandal to file his case earlier. He reportedly agreed to let him go forward with his claims regarding other illegal intrusions, such as the use of private investigators hired to snoop on him. Justice Fancourt reached the following conclusion in his decision in writing, I am satisfied that there is no reasonable prospect of the Duke proving at trial that he did not know and could not have with reasonable diligence have discovered facts that would show that he had a worthwhile claim for voicemail interception in relation to each of the news of the world and the sun. He already knew that in relation to news of the world articles, and he could have easily learned by conducting simple research that he was likely to have a similar claim in relation to articles published by the sun. Harry's attorneys had previously claimed that NGN's opposition to his claim was an effort to conceal the alleged secret agreement that the publisher and the royal family as a whole allegedly had, which the Duke was informed of in 2012. However, NGN contests the existence of such a contract, denying that any illegal activity occurred at the Sun. The Duke's attorneys claimed at a hearing in London earlier this month that there is proof of the existence of the agreement, including emails exchanged between senior executives at NGN's parent companies, which are owned by Rupert Murdoch, and Palace employees in 2017 and 2018. Harry claimed that the purpose of the covered agreement was to prevent embarrassing voicemails that were intercepted by reporters from being related by members of the royal family in court. In written arguments, David Sherborne for Harry claimed that Prince William's 2020 settlement of a claim against NGN for a very large sum of money supports the contention that there was a secret agreement in place. However, Anthony Hudson Casey for NGN told the court that the Duke's attempt to change his claim is a radical intended revision of his case and that he is trying to ride two horses galloping in completely different directions and hedge his bets. Even the claimant knows very little about the alleged agreement, according to Mr. Hudson, who claimed it was such a secret agreement that no one except the claimant knows anything about it.